What is electromagnetic radiation? Electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy that is all around us and takes many forms such as radio waves, microwaves, x-rays, and gamma rays. Sunlight is also a form of electromagnetic energy, but visible light is only a small portion of the EM spectrum which contains a broad range of electromagnetic wavelengths. Electricity and magnetism were once thought to be separate forces. However, in 1873, Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell developed a unified theory of electromagnetism. The study of electromagnetism deals with how electrically charged particles interact with each other and with magnetic fields. There are four main electromagnetic interactions. One. The force of attraction or repulsion between electric charges is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. 2. Magnetic poles come in pairs that attract and repel each other, much as electric charges do. 3. An electric current in a wire produces a magnetic field whose direction depends on the direction of the current. 4. A moving electric field produces a magnetic field, and vice versa. Maxwell also developed a set of formulas called Maxwell's equations to describe these phenomena. EM radiation is created when an atomic particle, such as an electron, is accelerated by an electric field, causing it to move. The movement produces oscillating electric and magnetic fields, which travel at right angles to each other in a bundle of light called a photon. These last two sentences solidify the fact that our presence is enough to create energy. We ourselves produce a field wherever we go. We always have a field emanating from our being. So wherever we go, we can cause the atomic particles in the air to move. And this movement produces energy. The energy that is produced is called photons. So just by us being present, we have the potential to produce photons. But let's continue. Photons travel in harmonic waves at the fastest speed possible in the universe, also known as the speed of light. The waves have certain characteristics given as frequency, wavelength, or energy. Electromagnetic waves are formed when an electric field couples with a magnetic field. Magnetic and electric fields of an electromagnetic wave are perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the wave. Electromagnetic waves are formed when an electric field couples with a magnetic field. Early in the article, it said that they produce each other. You can't have a magnetic field without an electric field and vice versa. So electricity and magnetism seem to represent the masculine and feminine principles when you really look at it. Hmm. The photon moves in harmonic waves, meaning that it moves in harmony. <laughs> well, let's continue. A wavelength is the distance between two consecutive peaks of a wave. This distance is given in meters, or fractions thereof. Frequency is the number of waves that form in a given length of time. It is usually measured as the number of wave cycles per second, or hertz. A short wavelength means that the frequency will be higher 
because one cycle can pass in a shorter amount of time. According to the University of Wisconsin, similarly, a longer wavelength has a lower frequency because each cycle takes longer to complete. EM radiation spans an enormous range of wavelengths and frequencies. This range is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. The EM spectrum is generally divided into seven regions in order of decreasing wavelength and increasing energy and frequency. The common designations are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet or UV rays, x-rays, and gamma rays. Typically, lower energy radiation, such as radio waves, is expressed as frequency. Microwaves, infrared, visible, and UV light are usually expressed as wavelength. And higher energy radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays, are expressed in terms of energy per photon. The article used in this segment was found at LiveScience.com. If you search what is electromagnetic radiation, it should come up.